हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द टेंशन इन केबल ए बी इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन राइट सो द टेंशन इन दिस केबल इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन एंड वी आर आस्क टू डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ओ ऑफ दिस टेंशन इज अप्लाइड टू पॉइंट ए ऑफ द टी शेप बार राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड the moment of this tension t about this point o and it is said that the dimension b is 600 mm right so now if i join this point o with a right and this length is b divided by 2 and this length is b and this angle is 90 degrees right so now we can find this oa length by using the pythagoras theorem right so this oa square since this is the hypotenuse of this triangle right this triangle right so oa square will be equal to this b square plus this b divided by 2 square right so b divided by 2 square and then we will take square root to find this oa length so oa length and if we take b square common so this would be 1 plus 1 divided by 4 so this oa length will be equal to this b square will come out right so this will be b and this 1 plus 1 by 4 is 1.25 so 1.25 square root b and since b is 600 mm so if we put b equals to 600 mm so then oa is 670.82 mm right so in this problem the sole aim is to find the angle of this tension t with this horizontal line right so let's say that that angle is theta right so but before uh, going to find this theta we have to find some other angle in this triangle right so let's say that this angle is let's say alpha and let's say this angle is beta so we can find this alpha angle by using this triangle right so if i apply tan alpha so tan alpha will be equal to this b divided by 2 divided by this b right so this means that alpha equals to tan inverse and this b will cancel out so we will be left with 1 divided by 2 so from this alpha is 26.57 degrees right So now this angle is twenty six point five seven. So we can write that this is twenty six point five seven, and now we can find this angle, right? Let's say that this angle is gamma, right? So we can write that sixty degree plus twenty six point five seven plus gamma equals to one eighty degrees, right? Since all of these angles are supplementary angles, right? so we can write that this gamma will be 180 minus 60 minus 26.57 and this gives us 93.44 degrees right so initially this oa line seems that it is making 90 degree with the horizontal but that angle is greater than 90 degree right so this angle is 93.44 now we can find this theta since we know this oa length this oa length is 670.82 and we know this b length right so now if i apply sin's law to this triangle aob triangle so we can write that sin theta divided by this 670.82 equals to sin of gamma and gamma is 93.44 divided by a b so since this is length right this is not force so we have to find this a b length right since we cannot apply this formula if we do not know this a b so let's say this is equation a so now since we know this b and this o a length so we can find this a b by using the cosine's law so by using cosine's law a b square will be equal to o a square plus this ob square minus 2 into oa into ob cos of the included angle which is gamma 
right and if we take the square root so that will give us that a b length right so o a length is known which is 670.82 square plus o b is b square so b is 600 square minus 2 into 670.82 into 600 cos of gamma which is 93.44 and if we take square root so then that a b length equals to 926.40 mm so now we can use this a b value in this equation right so a b is 926.40 and from this we can find that theta so theta will be equal to sine inverse and we will multiply this 670.82 sine of 93.44 divided by 926.40 so from this theta equals to 46.40 to 9 degrees right so this is that theta which was required this is very important now once we know this theta we can resolve this 100 newton force into its components at this particular point b so as we can see that this 100 newton tension will have one component which will be acting in this direction and it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right since we know this theta so then this is the cos component right so this will be 100 cos of theta and this will be 100 sine of theta and now we want to find the moment about point o so moment at point o and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this cos component is passing through that point o so it will not produce the moment about point o so only this sine component is producing the moment about point O and this moment is, neg uh, is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative. So I will write minus 100 sine of theta and theta is 46.29 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point O is this B right. So we will multiply it with B and B is 600 now since this 600 is, is in mm right so if we multiply this so this will give us the moment in newton mm right so if you want to have find this uh, moment in newton meters so we will convert this into meters so we will divide this by thousand right and now if we multiply this so then the moment about point o due to this tension t is 43.37 newton meter right so this is the solution of this particular problem